another pump house today. So I'm in the pump house that operates that tower. And it's kind of hard to see. That motor's screaming. But there's a slide tower right there. All right, this is in uh, west side of uh, Vegas. You can see there's a fairly large pump house. Lots going on in here. Uh, the river also has the filter set in here too. So this is for the river right here. And then what do we got here? The Rattler. That's for this big tower right here. These two guys. Yeah, Constrictor. Big pump. We've got the same slide they do as Constrictor. So they got actually a lot of the same slides we do. Um, I like these mermaids. They're pretty big, they're pretty cool. Um, this is a pump out, it's, it's very well laid out. The top's a little difficult for me, but it, I can, uh, can manage it. I can figure it out if I need to. So we got a little pack right here, a little filter pack. Not too bad. It's using prominent controllers here, this location. Um, we do have some chemtrolls mixed up in the uh, in the mix here. I said mix twice, didn't I? Uh, so this one's coming from right there. So this is for the Tots pool. Yep, I see Tots pool. So this is filtration for the Tots pool. Now, you can see there is a heater here. It's not connected. Man, the water out of the tap is really cold, actually. So uh, we have, they have to actually heat the water. Let's see how crazy this package is. Not a big fan of this. There's a lot here that I don't I don't really like. Um, but uh, slowly we'll figure out what we're gonna do here. Uh, they do have a rain fortress feature here, a RF3 I believe, or RF4 from Whitewater. Um, these are Neptune Benson double stacks. I really like these. These are some of my favorite filters beyond a Defender. So here we have a Defender. This is a, I do, it's, I, I do believe it's one of the newer versions, but it has a uh, manual control uh, system, which isn't bad. It's it's it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, I really you know it's my defenders, defenders. I like it. Got another filter pack here. These are all direct suction from the pools. Um, there is one here pool that I do have a search fit. I'll see if we can find it. But uh, yeah, let's go to another pump house. Check it out. So oh look at that. Isn't that cool? So you can see over here, there's the constrictor right there. Right there is a constrictor, just like ours. The tower's just a little taller, not much, but a little taller. Right, let's go in another pump house. As you can see, we got the ones I like, chemtrolls. Got two chemtrolls here, brand new. We do have a couple things that we need to work through to get these correct and right. You see we got a little Accutab system there. We got a little Accutab system here. These are really cool. Just gotta balance them. It's gonna take some time. We gotta get balanced, right? Two filters for two different units. And there's two poles here that are being controlled. One of them is for this mat racer, and the other one is for this little, uh, these body slides right here. You can also see we have these, uh, they're called acid rides, AR450s. Um, what these are for is these actually feed acid through a tablet. And uh, the tablets are right over there. So yeah, it feeds acid through a tablet, it's just like a, like a, uh, like our uh, uh, Accutabs. Um, creates a slurry within the slank and then it pulls out of there. Pretty cool idea. Um, it's it's a little bit pricey, but it, you know, it's something I've been considering for some of my locations. All right, let's go to the pump pit. Let's see what we got here. All right. Ooh, those are big. So these are Pentairs, if I'm not mistaken. These are some of the ones I've been looking at. Um, wow. I do like these, they're all plastic, right? Pretty cool to me. Yeah, it's a Pentair full product. Yeah, EX, or EQ 6x6. So that means six in, six out. And it comes with an integrated basket, which is really awesome. Really awesome. All right, got another one over there. So I'm guessing these are 15 horsepower. Let's see. These are 10 horsepower. That's a 10. And that's a 10 as well. Very cool, very cool. 
Ooh. Okay, we're about to walk into the pump house that has the wave maker blown. I guess we'll go now because it's already kind of loud. Defender for the wave pull, wave pull stuff. This is a chem loop for it. It feeds all this, all this craziness here. They used to use CO2. They don't use CO2 for acid, uh, for pH control anymore. So we also have over here, we have a package. So we'll pad this little filter package. That one is for uh the boomerango and then there's a super bowl over here i think it's a whitewater sb1 that's that one right there so let's go down into the chamber all right it's a little loud in here hopefully you can hear me so down in this pit this is for the river or with a wave pool uh you got dual pumps to feed one filter which is great it's going to be a lot for these dual um the, the the thing that a lot of people do this for is so you have smaller motors which are easier to replace but uh and you know but you're doubling your power and um you're doubling your uh capability of losing you know water right but at least no matter what if you lose one at least you have some water flow right so that's it's always kind of a nice idea um it's not bad i don't i, I um i've had a couple places that do the same thing um in the past natatorium did it so I'm not too mad about it. Uh, the wave maker here is a little different, not too much different. It's the internals that are a little bit different. So these are, uh, I believe they're soft starters. They actually might be uh, BFDs, but nonetheless, I'm gonna look these up. So these are some TEQs or TECQ. Yeah, TCEO, uh, JNEP 36As. And there's the MA7200 pluses. But you'll see that pretty much it looks the exact same as mine does. Uh, except the line reactors, there's no line reactor for the main line coming in. Uh, breakers there. Um, those are the little breakers for each individual um, piston. And then of course, uh, where's the PLC? Interesting. So that is the PLC, it's an older PLC. Oh, no, there it is. There's PLC, there's the contactor for it, and there's another, there's the wireboard for it. Pretty cool. Okay. And then here's the pump house. Uh, you'll see it says Royal Flush. These are the old names. But, uh, yeah, this toilet bowl and then this boo boo Marengo. Those are the two. There's all the motors for it. Here's a blower for the wave maker. Um, you'll see this one's actually down. We have another one coming in. So I've been thinking we could try and fly it in right here. I think this is where we're gonna fly it in through. Okay, Let's see. I think I'd sit back here. Two air compressors. Uh, water lines, water coming in. Oh, hi, what's going on? Interesting, interesting. Okay, and then there's a little pump for that uh, flooring pump, or the, uh, excuse me, chemical ah, filter set we saw earlier, little one. All right, this is pump house. Well team, we're in another sump pit, or a pump pit. This is pretty crazy, look how deep it is. So if you see the top right there, that's the top of a tornado, a pro slide tornado. Man, this is a this is tight too, and it's down here. It is really down here. Um, another one of these pumps that I think is pretty cool. I don't like the motor though. Uh, not a TEFC motor down here. It'd be great to have a TEFC, but we don't have one, so I'm not a big fan of that. But nonetheless, it's a pretty it's a pretty big tornado. Takes a lot of water. Yeah, pretty crazy. I think that's just for tornado. All of this nuts. 